How do you read between the lines as to what this administration is trying to do now? Well, I applaud the move. You know, the sanctions are not officially announced yet, but they, by all accounts, will be shortly. And I think this is exactly the right kind of uh, strategy that the Trump administration is employing here. I think that, first of all, targeted sanctions are something that are actually written into the Iran nuclear deal uh, to protect the United States. So it would actually be um, silly to not implement them when we can, meaning when Iran is proven to violate the terms of the nuclear deal, we are well within any of the rights as you define them to respond in this kind of a way. But I'd be remiss in my sort of analyst duties if I didn't point out that these sanctions, uh, no matter how smart they are, are a walk back for President Trump, right? Because remember, he was going to tear up the nuclear deal. Yeah. Uh, his first week in office, he was going to wholesale get rid of it, have the United States renege on it. So I think he's so had you, a little bit of... you think he's had a change of heart? I do. I think um, that's exactly what this shows us, starting with the announcement that we were putting them on notice. Treasury Department also says they reflect U.S. commitment to enforce sanctions on Iran over ballistic missile testing. Uh, we knew that. It goes on to say part of the Treasury's ongoing efforts to counter Iranian malign activity abroad. That is outside the scope, Jillian, it says, of the nuclear deal. And that's what you were just explaining about what you can and cannot do based on these terms. So one of the, the sort of original sins with the Iran nuclear deal was that the Obama administration decided to negotiate on the nuclear issue entirely alone. So that is, they took the nuclear issue out of the context of the rest of the U.S.-Iranian bilateral relationship and decided to only look at their nuclear research and development. So no opportunity for the United States to penalize Iran for their egregious human rights violations or their state sponsoring of terrorism around the region, right? Or uh, mm. the regime's atrocities against its own people in some instances. So here, what President Trump is trying to do is build back up these mechanisms that we have to kind of push back against all the other issues that yeah. we have with Iran. Now